a very beautiful Thursday afternoon from wherever you're watching. This is Jalango TV and this is Bonga na Jalas. Thank you so much everybody who's been saying we are waiting, we are waiting, we are waiting. Finally, we are up and running. Definitely a very special uh, edition of this show live from Miali, I'm telling you. One of the most beautiful restaurants in the 254, located at the Convent Drive. <laughs> <laughs> Malisa, Malisa. Hey, located at the Convent Look. Drive. Jaribu hapa kwa serious. Yeah, uh, Malisa kwa serious. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, wewe sema pale tu. Uh, welcome uh, before you go sanitize 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 <laughs> located in the suburbs of Lavington in the beautiful city of Nairobi welcome to Bonga na Jalas. Of course, yes. Thank you so much. This is a case of the host uh, being hosted by another host <laughs> and there's a reason why we had to do this show uh, so fast and I had to make sure that Jesse comes here because of what is happening tomorrow. Tomorrow is a very, very big day, definitely for myself. Tomorrow I am graduating. Congratulations. Omera. Why it not for Jesse? Why it not for Jesse? Tomorrow would have not happened. I tell you. Yani, we are here Jesse, now. I just don't know how to thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to to just say thank you again because in uh, 2013 13. 2013 there was this amazing man at uh, Daystar University mm. he was called Bwana Kilonzo yeah, the communications uh, director the communications director yes, so Daystar University Kilonzo calls me kanita kaniambia yalas hii mambo ya kuchekesha chekesha watu siku moja itaisha there are new comedians coming up each and every single day. Yes. Lakini ukienda shule, eh. that will never be taken away from you. Yes. All right? That so, is true. Na kuomba kabisa, kuja shule. Eh. Haka nita, haka, haka kuja paka job. Haka yes. nikalisha chimi. Haka eh. nyabia buwana jalas. Na kuona vitu nafani. Eh. Na penda vile unafani. <laughs> Lakini si pendi kuwa. Uja soma. Uja soma. Hey. Hey. So he kept on calling me again and again and again. Yes. So to make Kilonzo not to call me, <laughs> nikaenda Daystar University. Nika so umechoka na simu. Nimechoka na simu. Utake nika register. Kupigie. Nika register. <laughs> nika register shule. After kuregister, nika achana na ayo. <laughs> so I registered in 2013. Yes. But... Went to school in 2016. Three years later. Three years later. Ndiyo shule. Can you imagine? Kuna fikiria? Hey. What was so, in your head? Three so, years? So three years, mimi nime register, nime patia kilonzo kila kitu, mm -hmm. hanioni kwa shule, <laughs> nime potea. <laughs> then nika kuona una post ban. Shule, shule, shule. Mamba yangu nika sema, this thing has to happen. <laughs> wow. Bro, then one day, Nikakata kila kitu nikasema okay. What will what is the worst thing that can ever happen? Yes. Wacha ningie kla? class. Ningie class. Kuingia class bwana niko na watoto wadogo huko <laughs> bwana. Naingia kipara green nikasema mama yangu. Nilikuwa hiki kitu nitawacha. Alafu mtu anaangalia ana graduation na uko ile. Unaona unaionekia 10 years. 4 years na kaga ni kama 10 years. Eh. Hey. Hey. Sasa shida ikawa ni Jesse kila siku. Jioni, we uko wapi? <laughs> kila sa kumina moja, we uko wapi? We uko wapi? Then kidogo kidogo watu wengine wazei wakaanza kuingia shule, class, mm -hmm. evening classes. Nika sema, ha! Tuende na yo. Waka inuke, inuke. Na yo, na yo. Jesse mtiani yangu ya kwaza. <laughs> Nilikuwa na tetemeka, nilikuwa na jua, sijui, nitapata nini, watoto watasema nini. <laughs> Watasema jalasa meaguka. 
university registration is the year you join yes unajua yes the year you join so ni 13 so so ni kwa 13 the number of students and your student number yes so ni kwa 13 lakini tuko 2016 So, so kuna na watu wako 16, 16 ako 16 10 10 <laughs> wewe uko 13 what what yes eh maze aibu ukienda kuside pale wewe ndio number one wewe ndio number one 13 <laughs> yani kila mtu anakujua wa then cut ikikuja wamejaza max wamejaza. so wengine wakisign against the cut eh. so wanaona yako Wa, yako inaonekana wao eh, 03 eh. alafu <laughs> <laughs> Then your graduation happened. Yes. Why? When you graduated I was left with around 120 hours. Mm-hmm. 120 hours. Yes. Bro, I started taking what well, are you 120 hours mm. divide by divide by a class that goes for 3 hours. So 120 divide by 3 you'll know how many classes you left with i said i taking maximum hours yes maximum hours 20 hours 20 hours for service 20 here we are naimeisha uli kwa nadhani wewe ni uta graduate peke yake kila mtu mwenye alikuwa anasema comedians kazi ni kuchekesha tu one tumesoma bro tumesoma i'm actually almost graduating with my masters yeah. masters Yeah. Oh, you uh, registered masters. Yeah, I registered my masters in political science. Mm. Yeah. I'm also <laughs> a registered <laughs> masters student. Unajua First you? of all, congratulations. Thank you so much. And I appreciate more. you. I want to appreciate you. Thank you for encouraging me. Thank you for being there as a brother. Thank you so much. Karibu sana MC Jesse. MC Jesse. Karibu sana. Asante. Have you been my brother? Mimi nimekuwa sawa. Uh-huh. And uh, I can't uh, say enough of congratulations uh-huh. kwa sababu shule si rahisi. Ni ngumu. Shule ni ngumu sana. Uh-huh. People think that uh, mm. doing what you're doing because mm-hmm. it's a lot that we do every single day. Yes. Cuz here tu tunachekesha every day. Uh-huh. We are planning a lot of things putting up such a show the whole crew wenye naona huku si mchezo mm-hmm. watu wanadha ni sisi tumeketi hapa but there are so many people behind here it's not a joke mm-hmm. and uh, putting in education bringing in the aspect of lazima nende shule uh-huh. nisome is also not a joke mm. so comedians say they are no longer the kind of comedians ulikuwa mnaona kitambo kitambo tuko tu tuko tu tuna randa randa hapana uh-huh. We are no longer doing that. We are running organizations, we are running companies, we are running uh, PR companies, we are running the thoughts of big corporations. Kabisa. To help them think how to get the products <laughs> to the market. Hey, so yeah, you know, they need to know that we went to school, man. <laughs> What you talking about? <laughs> Your school fees yote ya Destiny na ni mchezo. Ni noma. Ni si ungejiongezea gari. Ni ni no, noma. Gari kuna nyumba nyumba kuna sasa ni <laughs> si ungekaa tu na hiyo pesa. Unataka <laughs> kuongeza ushaongeza. <laughs> wow. Yes. Jesse 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 ndio huyu na asante sana kunikaribisha hapa Bonga na Jalas. Kila mtu Some jana alikuwa ananiambia, kila mtu alikuwa ananiambia immediately after this straight to Jesse Jesse. Lazima Junction. Jesse Junction ukupige story uko. Lazima pia tupige story. Let's have your story Jesse. Eh? Corona. Oh hii leo ni yangu. Eh, Corona Then Jesse Junction ni yako sasa. Eh. Kabisa. Corona inakupelekaje bro? Corona, Corona hata haina fear. Mm-hmm. So inipeleki mahali uh-huh. so tuko home. Uh-huh. Lakini mm-hmm. one thing I can say is corona has happened in a, at a time when no one was seeing anything coming. Mm-hmm. Actually kwa uzuri wa entertainment is that corona came in after a harvest season called December. Okay. So most guys walikuwa wamejipanga panga entertainers mm-hmm. jo walikuwa shapata mm-hmm. mapato ya December so now it's January February there. Mm-hmm. So ile iko karibu kuisha. Mm-hmm. Corona. Wewe unasemaje na tulikuwa tumepanga a Europe tour. Mhm. Ya comedy cuz I, I do a lot of international tours mostly in the UK, mm-hmm. Middle East mm-hmm. and Europe. So mm-hmm. this time I was going to do the big Europe comedy tour. Mm-hmm. Tulikuwa tumepanga France, uh, Spain, <clears throat> Switzerland mm-hmm. na mulikuwa mmepanga. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi sikwani endei trip. <laughs> 
So no, no. <laughs> when you think <laughs> that people are your friends, they are actually planning how to go to France, <laughs> Italy. <laughs> Thanks Corona. Ukweli <laughs> imeanza kujitokeza. Watu walikuwa wanajipanga kuenda pale bila mimi. Ehe. Ehe. So what you say maji? See there's a time I asked for your passport. I remember. Eh, hey, what was that for? Aha. Visa ya Britain. Uh-huh. You already had one. All right. So we wanted to renew because siko nataka na mimi watu watanisumbua visa oh visa visa. Hey, watu hey, wajawai safiri. Watu wajawai safiri. DJ shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sasa so, siki na jua travel sasa hii itabidi anze na picha passport kwa studio passport kwa studio tuanze na hiyo passport kwanza siki sasa enda studio kwa hiyo tumalizie hapo hiyo sasa hiyo process yote yanze eh na ujue shiti kuna country hata kubalika na hiyo kinyasa yake kwa sababu kinyasa na miguu eh anaweza eh atashikwa pele kwa rehab So what is that madman doing there over there? <laughs> Get him back to rehab. A banana banana mtungu mimi sio rehab sio kabla jitetee akondani asharudishwa adipotiwe. So we were, we were doing the the Europe tour. Mm. And uh, the one that I knew was going to be big is the one we were planning and I'm sure you remember it mentioning to you at the Indigo in mm. London. Mm. We wanted to put together Uh, kings of comedy in Kenya mm-hmm. we do yeah, we do it in London at the Indigo we'd already started uh, talking to the first two I went I went there tukafanya links na wenye the place kila kitu na tukajua how you going to pay for it alafu si tukuje tena tufanye show and the nika hook up the marketers that are supposed to market the show in the UK mm-hmm. so that's the one we were to do hiyo mm-hmm. yenye kona comedians wengi mm-hmm. the one yenye nao nilikuwa nasema ya June was mimi <laughs> wewe mimi tu wewe peke yako <laughs> niende europe ni fanye the same thing i had done in london eh yeah. i love to replicate the same thing yenye this year we were to do in london ah una get uh-huh. i went to london scotland huko kwote nilikuwa nimeenda vacation <laughs> vacation in the uk <laughs> so nilikuwa nimeenda huko na nikachapa stand ups kadhaa yeah. nika make links ndio tukienda tujie tunaenda place ziko hivi ziko tusiende ka strangers mm-hmm. so the same thing i was to do now in europe i love to rudie vile tuko tufanya indigo Aha. so there's a place in france nilikuwa naenda wow. yenye lazima tungefanya big show na corona sasa ikasimamisha hiyo the big one we have to do in uh, indigo then in is there if they online waneza kuambia ukweli mm-hmm. the organizers organizers eh hey, wako kina bless wako huko sana mm-hmm. na wasi wengi sana wako kina k davis of nottingham mm-hmm. mr seed of london mm-hmm. they know of london backing mm-hmm. mm-hmm. wote mm-hmm. ilikuwa team big sana so it's a, it's a <coughs> very big loss for you. very big loss mm-hmm. so si uongo But Jesse you just did not wake up and start planning tours in mm. in London and everything. It started back here. Yes. Where were you born bro? Me was born in Meru. Mm-hmm. Hii Nairobi nimekuja vile watu kuja Nairobi kuiona. Unaona vile watu wa Nairobi ukawa nasema one day I'm going to go to New York City. So tazidikiwa Meru. Tunakwanga na ndoto one day we going go. Lazima tufike njinji. Mvike njinji. Lazima tufike na Nairobi bwana. <laughs> na watu watatutambua. Ala unajua <laughs> wa Meru mali wanafikanga. <laughs> Lazima mjue wamefika. <laughs> na kama uwatambui they'll make you uwatambue wako area. <laughs> so mimi hata mimi nilikuja. Ulikuja Meru nilikuja nipanda Kenisilva. Nikakuja <laughs> nikanishukisha Tirum. <laughs> na nikashuka na nikasikia ground imeniambia baba welcome. Karibu. Karibu huku ndio mahali umekuwa ukitafuta. This is after high school. After high school. Shule gani hiyo? Ilikuwa St. Cyprian Boys High School. St. Cyprian Jina Yezadi kwa St. Cyprian kidogo. <laughs> Kuna kitu hapo. <coughs> St. Cyprian Boys. Ah ah. ah, 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 ah. <laughs> St. Mary's Yala. Uh-huh. St. Nani Kangundo. Uh-huh. St. Ayezi kwa Saint Cyprian too. Ah ah. Uh-huh. It's not just Saint Cyprian. Uh-huh. Ndio nimesema ni Saint Cyprian 
Meru. Ah, ah kuna jina hapo, kuna jina hapo. <laughs> Sasa unataka ni seven St. Cyprian of Assisi. Hiyo area hiyo shule ilikuwa ni wapi? Ni ni Tigania. Eh, Tigania. Tigania. St. Cyprian Tigania. Yes. Na ah. boys. <laughs> boys. Mm -hmm. High. High school. It was a high school. Mm -hmm. Meru. Ukatoka na diako sasa. Hakuna askuta. Diako. Okay, bas. Sikutoka na. Ah, bas D plus. Sikutoka na D plus. Eh, eh. Nilipita. Eh, eh. Nilipita. Nilikuwa so good in drama mm. that hakuna vile ninge fail English ama Kiswahili. Nilikuwa nilikuwa najaribu, nilikuwa an average student. Mm -hmm. Yes, because kitu liniletea mchezo sana ni drama nilikuwa nilikuwa napenda na, drama, na, na drama sana mm -hmm. nilikuwa na act hata huko high school nilikuwa na kuja brother yangu alikuwa ganaishi Nairobi anani record ya ridiculous alafu anachukua hiyo tape ananiletea meru mi na sneak shule naenda na watch narudi shule na act chenye niliona watu wamenitambua alikuwa anajua mimi ni creative na ni ridiculous nimecopy ni kapeste mimi nishai akikaa moyo hata sijui hiyo sauti ilikuwa inatoka wapi so watu shule wanajua tu ni otero mbaya ni otero mbaya nikai act yote hivyo nikako ule msi na kama na kama uli pass enda tu shule nini university university sasa mimi nilipita kitu ilizuia ni kwetu kwetu hatukuwa na kakiru tumechapa yani hata hakuna do hakuna eni mm juu mimi sasa mm. i lost my parents when i was 11 years at 11 yes both of them so kutoka hiyo time thank god umesema i lost my parents yes. not that i'm an orphan unajua kuna no, pale inafika inafika sasa eh. you lost your parents you are not an orphan kuna mtu alitweet that we mtu alikuwa na tukana raila kwa nini kwa kwa mtandao akasema Angalia sasa you are abusing an orphan. <laughs> no, it gets to a point where you've just lost your parents. Not, and I'm happy that you recognize that. Yes. So at 11 yeah. you lost your parents. I lost my parents. I'm such a staunch believer in God because that time I knew God has taken them away so he can take over my life. He came in, brother. So God took them away. I can come through. You got saved. About God as it has nothing to do with salvation or religion. No, or I was just saying that God came into your life. Unajua sasa kuna watu pia wakisema God came into my life. Wewe inamaanisha akaokoka. <laughs> Unajua? So that's what I was wondering <laughs> that you would say that. What it and, means is this. And I know you. When God uh, does the some one things, salvation and Jesus cannot be in one sentence. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm saved, Jalas. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> me akolewa na damu ya Yesu. All right. So, so, so the I'm, thing is when now life for example the difference between orphans and the people that appreciate that you know the parents left ndio hiyo sasa. Mm. Orphans when somebody is orphaned wazazi wakisha kufa unaingia pit mode. Unaingia pit unaka hapo kwa pit unajurumia unatafuta ngatu msaada wao nisaidieni mimi nilifiwa huyo ndio orphan. Mm -hmm. Lakini mwenye anasema God uh, my parents passed on then you moved on is because once wameenda mm -hmm. hauna mtu wa kukuchunga so who takes care of you is God now it's you and your God versus the world ukikosea you don't have accountability to anybody hakuna mzazi atakuchapa hata hakuna mtu anashughuli na wewe kila mtu anashughulika na watoto wake wewe uko peke yako no one cares about you so the moment you realize that the better the faster you do that the better kwa sababu once you realize you know what ni mimi tu na dunia yangu na Mungu wangu then at that point you will know ukijua enyewe ni Mungu tu mwenye niko naye hapa that what what it means by god taking charge of your life ukishajua So utajuanga nikienda place in case of anything like for example nitakwambia kweli jealous in this Nairobi sije hata omba mtu do sija why omba mse pesa atinisaidie na 5k nitakurudishia kesho sija why I've never borrowed so how do you survive I don't survive I live 
How do you live? Yes, in I the live grace of God. by the grace of God. Come on, Nigeria. Ah, sanitize. Sanitize. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. I so don't the, survive. So the grace of God gets you back here. Yes. In the city. Yes. So when I came to the city now. after high school, mm -hmm. nilikuja nikijua sirudi mm -hmm. na nimekuja nimekuja mm -hmm. na nikae mm -hmm. na sirudi meru. How's our network looking? How's our network jani. looking? We are good. Yes, so, mm -hmm. so nilikuja nikijua nimekam sirudi hivyo. And then I have God, man. So nikaingia mjini nikaanza hata mimi ma audition hapo na Shamu Thira nilikuwa nawaona nilikuwa nawaona mkiact na kina the late papa kina bukeko i used to see wasewa kirihas hapo nilikuwa naona kina church leo time pengle used to be there kila msanii kinafanya and family mm. i used to see guys wa kirihas Wesha hiyo unafanya? Mimi nilikuwa nakaa tu nazunguka hapo nilikuwa nashindwa kuongea cuz nyimu nilikuwa mnaongea Kiswahili, Sheng. Alafu mimi nilikuwa na taswisi na sindra ya, ya matamsi. Ya matamsi. Yeah. Sasa nilikuwa na nyamaza tu ni run kwanza mtai iko namna gani. Eh. Yeah. Eh niangalia. Oh, this time where you stay? Sasa nilikuwa na mahali hapo kwa bus za Sunbird. Eh? Hapo kwa hizo Sunbird mahali mizigo wekwa mm. kabla ifungo ile mitumba iende Meru. Yeah. Kuna <laughs> <laughs> Kuna store na ijangi ina changa space na hapo juu. Eh. So sometimes ukisikia kwa usingizi unajisunda hapo. Alafu unashuka. Now, the sweetest bit about wa Meru ni hivi. Hawezi kuwa uti unalalaga na mzigo hapo. Unalala na mzigo for Kasa, sure. Unalalaje na mzigo? Mnani anakubalia mtu wa mlale na mzigo? Ndio nasema eh. uzuru wa kutoka Meru ni ya tea, mm. wa Meru waangusha nangi sana. Mm -hmm. Ukifika hapa lazima ujue pasi. Pasi ni Bezi ya wameru. Lazima uende pasi. Kama uende pasi shauri yako kipatwa na shida. Lazima uende tirum. Mm -hmm. Lazima. Kama ujaenda tirum. We basi we siyo meru alisi. And then you see in meru we live in age sets and age groups. So ile group yenye tuli, eh, tuli initiate you into adulthood na yo. Kwa zina kuanga group. Hii mwaka kuna hasi wa metai. Hivo mm -hmm. so muna juana hiyo age group. Na wasi tulikuwa nao chuo. So ukuja Nairobi, lazima utawapata. So when I came to Nairobi, hiyo area tiru mapo tulikuwa tunakutana. So you have to go to that area where Meru za. Ujunge na uchane kidogo, kama uchana, kaa uchani, ubae soda. Na kaa una, kuna msiata bai tu. And then the best thing about that area ni, pasi ni kiwanja. Wezi jenga, hata wezi grab. Ni ya Meru, jai jengwa mpaka leo. Ni kiwanja, bezi, na hituwa tu mbezi. Tukutane mbezi. So wase ukaa. So nikiwa na vebe na ezaekele hapa tuchane. Na pia wala wase ya wana food. Wase ushare hapa pasi. So mina kam na bai kimkate. Na soda alafu gichi. Na kupatia. Juni bezi ya wase. Wanajua hapa ni kubaya. Afu kutoka meru mpaka Nairobi umevuka 14 rivers. Kukuja kuambia mwenza kwe toka hapa. Mwezi fight. How? Muna fight in the land of the foreign. You're supposed to be together. We win. Soon we'll have a Meru president. Because that's our plan. Guy, you may say. Wow. But it's going to happen. So, that's how we used to be. Tunaka hapo pasi. Ata wase uka hivi. Aku fungangui. Na hizo shoppers zi fungangui. Once milango lifungulua uzeveve. Hija wai fungwa ilifungwa time ya corona. Tango ni kuja Nairobi. Sideo na imefungwa. Juu mwenye uza mchana. Anatoka mungina kuja jioni, mnendele ya paka asubui. Alafi ya mungina anarudi. So, ukisikia usingizi, ukiwa pasi, mtu kaa hivi. Ama unafanya hivi. Unalala, unamuka. Unasonga. Hili kwa gayo time yetu. Maybe sa hivi tu zime change. Wow. <laughs> so, ukijisikia kulala, kama we uko sawa, uko na mabeshte. Wako pale kwa mzigo, unaiza mambia simi jistretch hapo. Uingi hapo kwa mzigo. At least you like how me stretch, but it wasn't for long. It was for like maybe two, three months before you found your feet. Now, eh, hey, before so so kutane na wasi wengine. So what I did, I found a classmate. Ni karyalize budaki na kuanga MP. Na wana ishwa pi kilele ishwa. Me ni nani? Nika umbia, ah, ah, hey, ah, mimi, ah, mi ukua. So tulikutana pasia. Kani mbio naishu wapi, mimi, ah, na uko south nini. 
South B, eh, eh, eh. Juni kwa karibu kusema South A. Siji <laughs> <laughs> Nairobi. Nisha ambia msemi na ishila ngataro isambu. Asema aje, eh. Kwa na manisha ngataro ngai. Nisha ambia nakala ngataro isambu. <laughs> so, <laughs> hmm? so that, that time kutoka hapo, nikienda ga auditions. I mean, nikafata uyo boys. Nikienda kwao, nikakatalia kwao kileleshwa na nilikatalia kwa na ujanja nili notice budake ni MP eh hey, kijao ni, ni poa lakini anaishi tu yeye na budake asubuhi nikaamka nikapikia mayai nikaingia tu kitchen poa nikapikia tu mayai na chai cuz i notice hana hana speed hana mbio hana haraka ya breakfast nothing na kuna vitu hapo mimi nani nikapika katengeza tu mayai wap nikatarisha kwa dining ule mpia kaamka aka like your story ako hey what is happening we have breakfast here akafurahia so ikakuwa ni mimi ndio nilipika si tukajuana hapo sana eh hey, hey yeah, tulikuwa classmate with your son tukaka hapo tukipiga story tukakuwa marafiki na huyo mp akaniambia so uko hapa so nikambia I'm, I'm here over the weekend then i'm going back to where i live in south whatever a b c nikajiambia nitarudi huko wapi tukakaa hiyo weekend ikaisha mimi sikuenda nikakaa wewe utatoka kwa wenyewe uende na ndio nilikuwa na lalapo hapo so nikaka kwa hiyo keja and before i knew it nikakuwa house boy kileleshwa ebony apartments leave it at that <laughs> so jesse is the first guest to come here na steamer ipote <laughs> the guys of Miali are just doing up. They are resuscitating. They are resuscitating. The generators will be up in a few. And uh, we are live. I hope you guys are still watching. And we are good to go. I don't know if the lights are good. Because our lights have gone off. The images are good. The network is good. Wow. I'm powerful. That's why power. Ikipata kompe. In a bow. Calligraph alisema niseme hivyo. <laughs> so wewe ni house boy. Nikakuwa house boy kileleshwa. Na nilifanya job poa sana. Buda nilikuwa napiga nguo pasi. Wewe ukiimagine una place ya kulala unafanya nini? Unaosha. Unaosha shati, unapiga nguo pasi. At the same time, I still used to go to national theater to audition. Nikapata role za ku act act huko na Crazy Kenyans that time. It was on Citizen TV. Mhm. Mm eh, hapo tulikuwa na kina pengele huko na asolikuwa ni toki na gitosh. Mm -hmm. Nadizi wa Coca Cola. Nikakuwa na act. So one day nakumbuka actually talking of comedy. He ile sad sana. Ni sasa siko na pata role zile poa juu siko naongea vizuri. I got a role tukiwa tuna act yo crazy Kenyans. So nikapewa role ya kukuwa ngombe. Hey. Tuliko <laughs> tuna actia na huko Jamreski. Yeah, so sasa hii ilikuwa kuna msel kwa na act kama you know crazy Kenyans was trying to do what ridiculous was used to do. So Pengle was was he Moi or Raila? Raila, Raila, Raila. Raila. He was Raila. Pengle and then there was another tall guy mm. who was Moi. Mm. Sasa hapa ina actiwa kuna Moi ako kwake Kabarak na ngombe zake. So Afu he... Raila amemtembelea. So we ni ngombe. Mimi ni ngombe. <laughs> Alafu moyo analisha nini? Eh. Analisha ngombe. Eh. Sasa huyu jamaa ameshika matawi. Hizi eh. ma, maskuma. <laughs> <laughs> ameshika maskuma <laughs> na na spinach anapatia ngombe akiongea na Raila. Ajee. Huyu Raila sasa ni pengle. Anasema eh. Awasi huyu kamera. Kamera hiyo sawa. Kamera huulisha ngombe. Eh. Yeah. Afkumbuka mo. Hii ngombe hii ngombe yako. Hii yeah. ngombe yako imenona. Eh. Alafu yeah. <laughs> unajua kwa nini nilikuwa ngombe? Eh. Mimi na jaga kajembe. Juu naitwa Jesse. Sinikupe Carol kakukua ile ngombe. Siku na ngombe inaitwa Jesse. Kuna Jesse na Freshian. Eh. Hey. So mimi ni Jesse. Hii <laughs> ngombe hii ni Jesse. <laughs> eh, kuna ngombe inaitwa hivyo. Kuna Jesse <laughs> na Freshian eh. na Gansi or something eh, like that. Eh, eh, Unazijua eh, hapo kwa agriculture, agriculture eh. ndani. So mimi <laughs> mimi napatiwa matawi. Eh. Uma. 
alafu jamaa nikaa choki anaongezea anasema wewe kula kula na baadhi ya unakula kimeza sasa zikikuja utafanya nini Huna jo hapo ndio na mimi niko hapa hivi nimeleta watu kwa nyumba I, I tell you there's a day tulikuwa tuna watch TV on Sunday tuna watch hiyo kipindi kwa NTV anaona nyumba yake akaniambia na hii nyumba inakaa ina, ina, ina very familiar nikamwambia eh hey, unajua ukiona kipindi sana <laughs> unaanza kusikia kama <laughs> ni kama unajua hiyo place sana eh hey, nikamwambia hata mimi watch Afro City maana feel nika najua Nigeria So akadhani ni ukweli <laughs> na ni nyumba yake <laughs> na tumekaa hapa hakuwahi jua hakujua nilimwambia ga baadaye after nimekuwa MC Jesse so at that point to limit nase so into colors ikaisha and then mimi nikaenda nga church winners chapel winners chapel eh yeah. uh-huh. nili, nili nikienda winners nili actually nilikuwa tu nimeenda toy market kuzurura tu nikasikia wasee huko wanaomba nini then kuna msee fulani alisema huko kwa wasee watoi nikuza kwa nini watu wanafanya huko kambe kuna chachi iko hapo eh ukienda huko wasee nasikia huko watu wa kuangi maskini eh <laughs> ati ukienda winners chapel atuwezi kuwa maskini nikasikia hivyo nikaambiwa tukienda huko hata watu wa kiwangi wagonjwa na wakufangi hiyo chachi na mambo tu kwa watu wa kufangi au kui maskini na maskini na kui mgonjwa ni nini nyingine nimekuwa nikitafuta hautaki ugonjwa unataka utajiri una eh <laughs> nikaenda winners eh nikaenda winners na nikaka karibu na gate ndio in case of na nikaambwa ni ya devil worshipers ah eh si wale walikuwa wanasema hivyo hiyo kanisa ni ya mashetani nikaenda na nikakaa kwa gate nikakaa kiti iko karibu na nikiangalia hivi naona nje kwa gate adams Eh, niko na pasta amekuja ame preach eh nikasikia zile vitu wanasema sijaisikia nikakuja tena na tena na tena so nika meeting pasta fulani huko hiyo pasta alikuwa ga mwenye mwenye alikuwa na senior pasta wa hiyo church so one day nilikuwa gana naongea sana na huko kwa compound kama kawaida na chekisha watu na kimeru kumbe alikuwa gana nasikia mali ameketi kwa ofisi yake hivi kuna dirisha tukiwa nje atumuoni lakini akiwa ndani anatuona na anasikia so ande akaniita pastor from Nigeria kaniambia come young man come mimi kaenda nikaingia kwa kwa ofisi yake kaniambia what do you do so no man Nigerians na vile wana kuangana wana force vitu what do you do nikaambia i don't do anything sir what do you mean so you just talk around you just talk talk I come here no I come to church and I go where do you stay uh, somewhere around here Kilelesha so you people are money eh Zajui ni house boy come here no I'm still believing God for a job I can be okay you don't have a job come be yes but you talk too much you're talking your job you're talking running your mouth that is your job sit down here kafungua laptop akaandika Steve Harvey Steve Harvey Yes akaandika hapo Steve Harvey on YouTube akanipea headphones laptop yake Jusa unaje tuko tunampigia kelele hapo saa 2 alafu hapa anajitayarisha message ya ku preach Tuko nje hapo in a chapel tumetoka kwaya kuosha church nilikuwa nisha join join hizo service team akanifungulia akaniambia listen to that man eh kava headphones afu na yake endelea hapo ku prepare message mimi nimebaki nasikiza preaching nilikuwa nadhani ameniambia nisikize preaching so that i i stop running my mouth around there nasikia tu yo what am nigga motherfucker nini hizo anasema hivyo niko hii u pasta sasa easy vitu anajua ni nini ameniekea lakini na cheki tu naona wasi alafu watu wanacheka then nasikia na naelewa nini Steve Harvey anasema Nika watch ikaisha nikamwambia it is over sir nikidhani hata ameniekea the wrong message aka type tena hapo Chris Rock kambia this this one is the best watch this one nikajua kumbe anajua nini anafanya akaniekea ingine ya hiyo ya Chris Rock wa kitu kanana nika watch ikaisha akaniekea Nigeria basket mouth 
Ile there are two things involved. Mm. Nikaochi kaisha kanembea now my brother. That time ikisha ni majioni kitu 7:30. Kanembea listen. That is what you are supposed to be doing. This running your mouth here. You can run your mouth to the bank. You can run your mouth the old Kenya will know you. Tell people those nonsense you are telling people around here in a structured way. You have a job. Ajui na mili kwa gana taftanga comedy. So ni kapata mtu ameni washa kiberiti. Unuwa vile ulienda shule. Kilonzo ya mekuregista. Lakini ni kajua umse anafajua kitu yenye pia mimi na jua about education. Kambia jelas you have to go to class. Jini kwa na kupigia 5 o'clock. We, uko hapi? Kuja class. Na nilikuwa na kuambia hivyo, juni kuwa na juni kwa karibu kugraduate. Niki graduate na ukose kuku. Emi ni kukose kwa class. Ehe. Mm. Na kambua pia nilikuwa gata ena mchocha class. So ukose kukuja class. Alafu ndiyo si tu graduate ni kuite party. Kambia jaka baba. Kuja kwa party yangu ya graduation. The first meru to invite a luo to class. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> it will be the other way around. <laughs> Hata mimi nilikuwa na shanga ni mjaluo mgani hataki kusoma. <laughs> eh, where is he from? Hmm? Eh. Wa so the same hiyo kuwashwa moto mahali. Somebody akaniwasha na itwa Pastor David Adeoye. Ndiye huyu aliniambia watch this. Can I stop running this? You can run your mouth the whole of this country. From there akaniambia in fact tomorrow is a Sunday. Prepare five minutes of stand up comedy. I will call you myself. When the service is going on, I will call you. You make people laugh. Ah! Hey! My brother, that Sunday, I almost never went to church. Nani sato jioni? I have to prepare nini. I mean, challenge. Pastor David Adea Kareme tomorrow. Na wina stepel kuina jaivi. Kwanza ile Adam. Yes, ya Adams. Kume ja, kanembe, you are going to do that. Mimi alas jaivi panda kwa stage najua tu kuact kumbuka kitambo we just used to act not do stand up hiyo sunday kafika karibu nikatae kwenda church aka nipigia nilikuwa gana kasimens flani niko nako alichukua namba eh, eh, are you still coming to church vile nilikuwa nakwambia unakuja class i had somebody na mimi ananipigia eh, eh, young man i'm waiting eh yes yes na huyo ni senior pastor huko anapigia watu and call you come here eh? you need to seven dio naamka katembea mpaka church nikapata nimeko kwa program akaenda nili niliitwa vizuri nika introduce you na pastor praise the lord hallelujah church and today today the bible says that laughter is the medicine to the bones are you ready to laugh <laughs> <laughs> are you ready to love? Are you ready to love? Winners Chapel Adams, are you ready to love? This brother here is one of the most talented young men within our midst. This brother is one of those people that very soon you'll be paying to see. Enjoy him now. Prepare thyself. Because <laughs> the kind of humor he's coming with is one that you've never seen. International brothers and sisters in our chapel, put your hands together for Jesus as we welcome Brother Jesse. Hey, hey! <laughs> 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 jokes, Billy. Zaki Meru. I've had to do Meru ni wapi. Ni wa Nigeria wengine. Chachi meja all kinds of people wa jaluo wa Meru wa wapi. Lakini wa Meru haku wa wengi. And then no one was talking about Merus in this country. Apart from Kiraito. Na yake require siyasa. Then he are coming here to joke about Meru's. Who are you? And Meru's you don't joke. We are ever serious. So ni mekuja hapo. Na jokes mbili. Nijaribu kuchekesha. Nikangangana. Nikaingilia wase wakwaya. Nikajaribu. Nilijaribu. Alafu unajua. Me I wasn't intending to make the whole church laugh. Ukichekesha pasi. When you make the president laugh. Di piki na Raila au wote lazima wacheki. Araka si kitu ya maana. So, <laughs> so pastor alikuwa ni kwa na target a check. So nikamwenjoy kamoja kabla nimalize. Kamuimitate. Eh hey, akaisha. 
nikafurai shock on me yeye ilikuwa fast service after nimemaliza nikasikia that is well done my brother that is so good prepare for second service <laughs> hey first service ilikuwa 7:30 second service 9:30 third service 11:30 can be go prepare for the second service that was very good kaenda hata siku karibu ni hepe pia church ten <laughs> nikaangoja second service nikarudi alafu kumbuka kwaya ni ile ile pasta ni yule yule so wezi rudia jokes audience ndio ime change wezi rudia but nikajikaza pasta day ako hapo i'm sure you're ready eh you're very ready <laughs> alikuwa anajua siwezi <laughs> oh. but i'm very ready you're going to do it <laughs> Bang! second service nikangangana so nikaingilia tu mtu akwaya vile udance hapo ndio nikaanza kupata hii unaona hizi nafanya ngati mademo akiambu nini eh. nilizitoa hapo kwa kwaya nilienjoy kitoka dem flani nilikuwa mimi ndio na ka like nikasema eh hey, wakikuja hapa nasema ah wanaenda kuimba worship nasikia nasema loving you chachi liisha second service nikapata uka confidence hai nivo nika kwa sasa mimi yule msiuchekesha watu wapi chachi Winners Chapel Church Pastor Dendi ananipatia hiyo chance. Alafu Winners Chapel u rotate ma pastors kama Catholic Church like unaweza kuko Nairobi then unatumwa tena kama Canada ama South Africa. Every time anatumwa nasikia kulia. Juice pandi yo pulpit juaze walikuwa anajua huyu kijana anatukana wazee. Eh hey, kwanza wazee wengine walikuwa hapo wajaluo wa kanisa mm. clergymen. Mm. This pastor with his small boys. Why is he allowing small uh, boys to abuse Abis. no it is not good it so aki uh, you went before god we don't have love love before god so the moment your parcel kwa na transfer hiwa anaenda tuseme south africa nivo miss kwa napanda hiyo pulpit na sahaulika thank god he used to be brought back akirudi tu hivi where is that funny boy he is the only one alikuwa na jamini mfani mm. where is that funny boy where is he he has not been here kumbe mimi nilisaulika juu sana washa magari huko ananipa chance tena so that time niki train that's when now and i used to go to chachil show started so i used to go for auditions naenda auditions mazi nachikisha watu sand church nachikisha watu nimewaambia story za st peter na heaven vile heaven kutakuwa alafu narudi naenda auditions eh hey. mazi asia cheki What are my cheka church? Lakini nikienda kwa auditions wale wa say um, wako kwa meza. Nikiambia jokes ashiki. In that time I can tell you Jakababa. Tulikuwa uh, church and show jokes zilikuwa nga slapsticks. Zilikuwa mchongo ano. I didn't know how to do mchongo ano. Mimi nilikuwa na do stories. So nikienda hapo kwa meza nasema sasa kuna siku moja nilikuwa gameru. Nimetoa wananiambia eh, eh, bro. <laughs> What is this? Wewe wewe rudi tu mimi. Rudi rudi tu mimi. Rudi kwa chaida siku moja rudi mimi. Eh hey, sasa hiyo hapo ilikuwa ga kitu kingine ilikuwa inaniwa moral sana. Ili chapa hapo for one year. Kabla hujapanda stage. Kabla hujapanda stage. One year. But one thing I didn't do. I knew who I wanted to be. I knew what I wanted. So hawako na ni stop. So nilikuwa narudi church. Naenda nasema you guys bana kuna wase wache kangi mahali na need kuwaleta church so mimi nachekesha wase pale so nilikuwa naenda church tu juu napewa chance ya kufanya comedy na ule pastor then narudi huko wase acheki acheki i give up on it <laughs> sanitize <laughs> so akunanga my haters <laughs> ni my fans all right so now tukafika mpaka tukaenda corona mm. imekuja ikaaffect kazi kidogo mm -hmm. But before then we had planned to add another comedy show. We had planned to add we had Churchill show Churchill show. we had planned to add another one Jesse Junction. Uh -huh. We had planned to add because comedians ni wengi sana. Atuwezi tosheleza hizi stages. So I was training sleepy mm -hmm. to take over a role. So sa sasa na mimi chukue Jesse Junction. Jesse Junction. I own it to kimbie see what. So tukue na ngapi? Tatu. Tatu. Corona we were supposed to hit actually airwaves in uh, April but corona ile kumechungulia ikasimamisha a lot of things so i thought of making the Jesse Junction the big show 
I make it uh, stay home, stay, stay, stay safe kind of a show. Wow. So it was there. We had actually done a pilot two years in, uh, in April 23, last year, but one. That's when we did a pilot at Nairobi Cinema. I remember. Yes, you remember that one. 111,000 subscribers. Yes. And growing. Now growing. Actually, Kwantulianza e channel when? Two and a half months ago. Yeah, two and a half, three months now. Yeah, three months now. Nandi yao, my fans. Nime kuambia tuko na my fans. Na wameingia. Wameingia. Na sasa vile tuko hapa. Si wengine natoka nao hapa wakutoka si haya migorino. Meyote tuwene na haya kwenye. Kwa ni wana dhani wajaluo peke yake ndi wana watch. Sana, 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 sana. Kwa ni weni wameru peke. Sana. You know I'm a meru by birth, but a luo by living. I can see. A meru. You understand what I mean? Yeah, these are not just shoes. Yes, these are footwear. Now, now let me, let me, let me. You know how to get a password? What happened? Ah, you need Wi-Fi. Ah, use this. So, Jesse. Yeah. So, what drives you? What drives me is the fact that I'm normally so sure about tomorrow. So sure, Ajay, if you put in something today, if you plant a seed today, you water it. Trust me, that seed will grow if you put in patience. I'm a very patient guy. Said Allah was when he promised Kitu, Najua Kungoja, Naita Kam. When you plant a seed, we emerge, we palilio yangali, it will grow. But wow. if you don't, don't expect any harvest. Do good every single day. Talk to, be good to any every person. Be kind to that um, to a bodana kubeba. Be kind to a soldier. Uskai na doyake. Ati unambia soja, ah, wenta kulipa kesho. Miambili na unajua vizuri ukonayo. You don't, itaka hapo kwa gari yako hapo kwa compartment. Tauta itumia the whole day and it would have fed a family. Ya ule jamaa that day. Iyo tu simple thing ya, be kind. Not that you go dishing out money, no. Be kind to everybody. And that single thing will assure that person even tomorrow. And that thing will make even be safe around. You'll be carrying guns. Wea watu wana kupenda di za abu baby, mabunduki for what? I don't. For what? What work? Live in kindness. Your tomorrow is assured. And you won't die soon. Trust me, you can't die soon when you have that. Death is a mystery. Yetu taongea sikuingino katiburale pia. Ata kwa meketi. Yapa juizo ni mamboza spirit. Saa hii utaelewa ni kiongea. You don't just die. You can prepare to die. So, drive. Niondani. And the hope for tomorrow. Do good today. Tomorrow is assured. Muslims give a lot. Indians, Diwali, sahi enda ukute, watu parklands vile wame line up uko anapewa. Sisi si upe ananini, Christmas inakuja. Do you give ama when you are receiving? Then you don't have tomorrow that is assured. Give and don't even show it. Just give in secrecy. Give and the other hand is jue. In secrecy. Mse akikuja kita kamsada yako. Mse idea tu. That is the assurance for tomorrow, trust me. Wow. Mtu anataka tumsaidie ki comedy na ako serious. The platforms are there. Unambia mse, this is it. The process is not easy. Usitake kukua Jesse Kesho. Just be you now. Kama we ni msani mdogo unanza. Anza tu. Anza tu. Be humble. Usitake kuendesha marinji rova sahi. Zitakuja. Utakufa na depression. Uka tu... Vumilia, Jesse ya mekupe platform kwa Jesse Junction na husika kitu kadogo on Jalango TV kwa na ka segment pale. Kama ngina. Take it easy. Kama ngina. Take it easy. Pole, pole. Kwa nizi YouTube tume grow. Mara moja tume amuka. Buu. Alafu hiko 100,000. Wee mo. Si ulianza unawana ndiyo hii one. Mimi nilikuwa my number one subscriber. Then my son came there and then other people started coming. Kwa si tulikuwa hapa utikifanya na ye. Subscriber 10. Subscriber 100, 1,000. You have to wait. Pole, pole. Usikimbizane na jalango. Usikimbizane na mwingine. Chachi leki kwa 1 million. We're not competing as you are complimenting. You're there. Do not know natu in a group. Those 100,000 will come after 
a particular time, not now. So the same way, organize the same when it comes to your life. Progress your life. See lazima comedian, any other person in life. Kidogo ili konaya. Now let me tell you, akunanga pressure your life. Nisisi tunajiekeanga. Do you know you live where you live by choice? You drive what you drive by choice. You wear like this by choice. You can make a choice to not live in that expensive house and make it a little bit smaller. Akuna mtu rakuliza. No one is watching you. You are trying to impress people. Nobody is looking at you. People don't care. They are into their businesses. Watu wana shugulika leo. Mtu wako na loan ya equity. Anangangana vile atalipa. You think they have time to think about you. Your story ni wewe tu meibeba. When people write about you kwa blogs wa kutukane. Your story ni wewe meibeba. Because once I read it. Nikienda next na enda kusoma ya mwingine na next. Isha ondoka. But you mwenye kona yo story, ni weo unajibebe, unajibebe. Kai, watu wana nifikiria. Hakuna mtu wana kufikiria. Live your life. Bro, try lose parents. You will know that ni wewe na mungu wako na no one else thinks about you. Nobody. You have to think. Sa hini kitu wakapa lazima nifikirie nenda. Kesho nitafanya. Meeting, nitaitisha pesa ngapi. How much I make today is upon me. Pressure ya nataka kukaa kama. Dige hora. Dige wow. hota. Leave you. Be you. Small yeah, it's being you. a Thursday. Start you. Uh, I thought I would be hosting a comedian, but it's just too much of, of, uh, of wisdom. <laughs> too much of... Uh, we just wanted also to just show you the other side of who we are actually. Apart from making you laugh, uh, guys have gone to school. We understand what we are doing. We love what we are doing and all. We're talking about uh, Tujulishane. It's the Tujulishane Thursday. And you know today is being a Thursday. Definitely Tujulishane Thursday is one of the biggest things. And uh, today the conversation on Twitter is actually on maternal health. Maternal health. And uh, you see now the first lady has been on the forefront of uh, just pushing for better better maternal services for our mothers, our sisters, our daughters, and everyone. Because as we speak, the numbers are still not looking good for anyone who is, uh, who is out there, for the ladies who are out there expecting their ch children on all. There's no mother who should die giving birth. And that is why the team from Tujulishane are putting up conversation each and every single day, uh, every single Thursday on Twitter. There's even a toll-free number. And we decided as Team Jalas to also support this conversation that keeps on going on. Make sure that if you know a teen somewhere, a mother somewhere uh, who is uh, expecting and you're seeing the conditions that they are, are not good. If they are not having even somebody to talk to them, make sure that you be the person who can help them. The toll-free number is already running down there and make sure that you can be part of this conversation. Guys, this story can never, never end here. And uh, at this point, I promise that we will finish this story on Jesse, so Jesse, Jesse Junction. Junction. So this story will go on on Jesse Junction. I want to request Tim Jalans to move straight to Jesse Junction. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Because we are not competing. We complement each other. And I also want to take this opportunity again just to thank my brother Jesse for holding my hand through school and now that even tomorrow as I graduate, I owe him a lot to him and every other person who supported me through my days to life. There are people who are asking, Ali Soma Sangapi, where, <laughs> where, where, where? The Limuona class, by the way. That is, Limuona. I didn't just want to graduate. <clears throat> I wanted to graduate with honor and have pride on that degree and uh, be able to say that, you know what, I did it. And nobody did it for me. And uh, I didn't buy my degree. I didn't do anything. I walked into class. He pushed me every single evening for four years. A lot was lost. Cancelled events. Cancelled bookings. So that I just go to school. Because you can have talent. But talent also without some education to it. Unajipata tu. Unaji. Tunaendelea masters. Tunaendelea masters. I've already registered. To. Yes. I've already registered for my masters. Yes. That You're is going. one thing. Yeah. yeah. And even PhD to turn Malaysia to. And you'll be Dr. Jesse. Yes. And I'll that be is Dr. Me, Jalas. Dr. Jalas. Guys, see you on Jesse Junction. This is Bonga Najalas. <laughs>